today I'm going to show you a twist from the classic. From the classic brownies, we're going to add a chocolate sauce. I'm going to show you two kinds of sauces, a plain chocolate sauce and a chocolate hazelnut sauce. Let's get started. For the ingredients for the brownies, you need three eggs, one and a half cups of sugar, three fourths teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon vanilla, two thirds cup of cocoa powder, two thirds cup of oil, three fourths cup of all purpose flour. For the chocolate sauce, you need one half cup evaporated milk, three fourths cup of semi sweet or milk or dark or bittersweet chocolate. The hazelnut chocolate sauce, one half cup evaporated milk, one third cup chocolate hazelnut spread, one third cup of milk or dark or semi sweet chocolate. <coughs> you put together eggs and sugar. and salt and vanilla. You whip this for about uh, maybe five minutes until it's thick and then we add in oil, cocoa powder and flour. This one has no baking powder. All right here. We can now add oil. Use a neutral oil. This is vegetable oil. You can also use melted butter if you like. Then we have flour. We have cocoa powder. Oh, we have cocoa powder. Okay. Then we pour this into an uh, 8 by 8 square pan, sorry. You line this with parchment paper or baking paper. I use Hagen's baking paper, uh, but you can use your favorite. I like those siliconized um, <coughs> parchment papers because they are guaranteed not to stick. I don't like wax paper because the wax mixes into your food. All right, so here we bake this at 350 degrees, about 30 minutes. For the chocolate sauce, you put in the chocolate. You can use bittersweet milk, uh, semi-sweet, dark, whatever you like. And then this is evaporated milk. You can also do this in the microwave. I'm, I'm using only very low heat. right here this is done so what we will do is we will cool this down a bit before we pour it or serve it with the brownies all right so let's set this aside see it's already melted hazelnut chocolate hazelnut we have the chocolate we have milk and then I'll add chocolate hazelnut spread sorry by the way regarding the amount of chocolate the more chocolate you add uh, the thicker the sauce when it sets so if you want it as a dipping sauce then you need to add uh, the chocolate the amount of chocolate in the recipe but if you want to like uh, drizzle it over the brownies where you want it more firm then you can add a little bit more all right this is done i have many recipes to share with you if you're interested please like share subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded let's cut our brownies into bite-sized pieces use a uh, bowl scraper because it will give you a cleaner cut than a knife all right I'm only doing two bottles, so I don't need the whole thing. Okay, then let's fill the bottles with uh, some brownie bites. All right, and then as soon as the sauce cools, we'll pour it. Okay. All right. See? 
the chocolate has thickened because it has cooled down so this is the chocolate sauce you pour this and then if you like you can top this with some nuts or chocolate chips or some mallows and this is the hazelnut you can also make this with white chocolate for the chocolate sauce instead of dark you can use white chocolate so that you have a variation and this is your brownie bites with sauce in a bottle <laughs>